Here are the yos and a bird, pigeon, wood pigeon. The wood pigeons come for a drink of water and it suddenly realized I'm right here. Now it's contemplating, do I stay or do I go? Are you gonna go or stay? Oh, it's gonna stay and go for a drink of water. Anyway, what I was about to talk about was, here are the sheep grazing, well, they're resting under the trees at the moment. And there goes the wood pigeon. I'm taking down the fence that was dividing up the paddocks for the horses. And the yews are resting under the trees and grazing out in the field. And one of the main modern grasses that farmers use because the most research has been done on it is ryegrass and here are several different kinds of ryegrasses you have multi-species swords you're always looking for many different species so like dandelions there's many different ryegrasses and I had a grass scientist looking at one of my videos one day and she said, oh, you've got the, the really ancient, old-fashioned kind of ryegrass. And I found that kind of interesting. And I said, what do you mean by that? And she said, well, it's this one here, I think. I think I'm right. Let me just lay them down here on the ground so that we can talk about them. This one here, right here, which has the really, really long stem with the seeds in a kind of pattern a weave across the stem. And if you look at these other ones, the grass heads are all very much near the top end of the blade, the stem that they're growing on. This one is a very narrow stem with a purpley color. You can see there, each one is different. This one is very close together. This would be a modern hybrid. So these, most of these are modern hybrids, but this is the ancient one that from my understanding what this seed, sci this uh, grass scientist was saying, it was this ancient one that's thousands of years old, that is deep rooted, that the original seeds were collected from because they were easy to collect. And that is why ryegrass became the one that was the most researched for agricultural grassland purposes and made to become so addicted to, um, uh, artificial uh, fertilizers and things like that. So you can see the this is a this is a modern variant. These other ones, I'm pretty sure, are all modern variants. This one might not be because it's stretched out further. But I was very intrigued to hear that this really long one, and you can see the length. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, it's bent now. But compared to these other rye grasses. This, the really old one, which is now bent, because Maya helped step on it, is the really, really ancient, original ryegrass. So it's kind of interesting how science selected particular species to do the research on for the grazing and grassland to produce and cultivate it so that it became addicted to the artificial petroleum-based fertilizers. And so when I was saying in my video a while ago, when the grass scientist came and talked to me, she said, or made a, gave me a message, she was saying that um, there are many, many modern cultivators of ryegrass, but this ancient one is one that you want to retain on your land because it has deep, deep roots. Isn't that right? Oh, isn't that right? How are you, Ebony? Yes. Yes. Now I'm being interrupted in my little talk about my understanding of ryegrass, the modern cultivator for modern agriculture and what most research was done for was to feed livestock in a way that damages the soil with artificial fertilizers, 
and things like that. Petroleum based rather than paying attention to the bio me or the land and soil and how to cultivate it best. So that is my understanding of ryegrass and research and the many different species of ryegrass or types, sorry, not species. Ryegrass is the species and there's many different types that have been cultivated. So all looking comfortably in the shade. Not many fussing about the flies. They're the alpaca and Miss Ebony. Oh, she's got a scratch. You have a scratch, Ebony. Hmm? Hey, do you want any of these? Do you want any of these? Are they of any interest to you? No, no interest.